Patricia, it's over. Back to you now. Finances remain a sensitive point. Uh, the city is uh, practically bankrupt. It's on the brink of bankruptcy. Um, briefly, I know we've had this conversation. Um, what's your strategy, your immediate strategy, to make sure that you tackle that mammoth task? Ultimately, service delivery cannot take place if there's no money in the kitty. Definitely. So when we approved the budget, it was approved with the funding plan. So that funding plan was endorsed by National Treasury. However, one thing we've noted is that there's the slow in terms of us getting the revenue in. Obviously, when the executive comes in, one of the things that we need to focus on is to review the funding plan, both the implementation of it and also whatever gaps that we can identify in the funding plan. But I am confident that with that funding plan as the base, we will be able to improve and move from that. Of course, uh, that uh, being the uh, new Tswane Mayor, Dr. Nasi P. Moya, just uh, you know, sharing uh, her strategy briefly with us, uh, you'd understand that uh, she is no newcomer to this particular uh, portfolio. She's been acting mayor, she's been a deputy mayor for about uh, just over eight months. Uh, so she has a clue of what she's talking about. She's had the opportunity to assess the work workload and, and really just uh, craft uh, her strategy moving forward. But this is uh, something that we'll be watching closely as the months unfold to see will she be able um, to obviously materialize the promises that she's been making. But we want to bring you more voices. Uh, there's a lot of political reaction that is taking place. I'm now standing uh, by with uh, the Freedom Front Plus. They were part of the Tswane multi-party coalition. I'm joined Joined by Grandi Tienison, he was one of the MMCs. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Um, 
just share with us how does the uh, FF Plus um, receive the appointment of the new mayor, Dr. Nasi Pimoy. Of course, you've worked closely with her as deputy mayor, but now she is the uh, new political head. Well, we'll see. We take it at this stage with a pinch of salt. The reason I'm saying that, when she was part of the multi-party um, coalition and deputy mayor, she was part of what was happening and she was part of the failures that they have blamed on the, on the multi-party coalition. So how do you excuse yourself from that when you are part of something? That's the first thing, why I take it with a pinch of salt. We also need to look at the integrity of the newly appointed mayoral committee. When I challenge them to say, you must put yourself through vetting, which I did, um, they, they, got, they started saying I'm racist by demanding that. Now, all I want them to prove is their integrity and their honesty. That's the first thing. She made a lot of promises. The insourcing is one of the targets that we've been looking at within the multi-party um, coalition. And Action SA is first to push for that. Can the city afford it? Her first challenge will be now in November, when bonuses are supposed to be paid to the staff. Up until today, the bank has not approved the overdraft facilities for Tony. And the message out there and the rumors out there is they are now very worried about the new government that's come into place. So do they have confidence? In the former multi-party coalition, we were starting to regain confidence from the business sector. I can tell her a challenge is to regain that confidence and to show the business sector of Tuane that they can invest in Tuane without any prejudice, without any fears. We've heard a lot of threats in terms of the um, administration and people who will be removed from office. Does she, will she live with that when Metler is removed, when all the new group heads are removed? That was the promises made by ANC and EFF in that regard. So those are the challenges that this mayor will have to face. I am glad I'm not in her shoes. I don't think she's going to make it. We will see on the 26, in 2026 whether she produced what she has promised. And then the worst part is Michael Beaumont of Action SA. When I contacted him six weeks ago to discuss the issues, he rejected me. He said, I'm arrogant to contact him directly. Why don't I follow protocol? That's the type of approach that Action SA leadership have. They think I'm too far low down in the pecking order to talk to me. I'm the caucus leader of my party. I've got the trust of my party. Action SA is not ruled by the local people. They are governed by Herman Mashaba and Michael Bowman from a national perspective. The ANC and the EFF will realize that very soon. You are now sounding like you're doubting the abilities of Dr. Nasipi Moya who is now the new mayor. But as the FF Plus, you voted her in as deputy mayor. You spoke highly of her and uh, you sold her to the people of Tswane. There was no deputy mayor position historically in the city of Tswane. It was brought in through the FF Plus and the DA in the multi-party coalition. So one moment she was the best candidate and now she's not the best candidate to lead anymore. Well, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. At that stage, she was unknown to the multi-party coalition. We, as a multi-party coalition, honored a written agreement between the partners in the multi-party. And that is why we accepted the nomination of Action SA. What she has done now is proved exactly the opposite. She cannot be trusted because she betrayed us. She said in our faces that they are standing with a multi-party coalition and then six weeks later they turn around so what was her motive to become the mayor i know there's been quite a lot of discrepancy in terms of the um, uh, um, negotiations between the anc and action sa the act the anc have already threatened if you don't listen to what we want we will remove you like blink that was the words of mudisa in the council chamber in the congratulation speech he made so 
she cannot be trusted. We've seen it twice. She's betrayed us. She's also betrayed the people of Tswane. And we will see whether she can do what she's promised to do. I'm saying again, we will see what these people, these employees who are now so jubilating, the, the, the Samvu unionists, when the bonuses must be paid and the increases must be paid and they are not there to be paid, whether the, how they will handle that. Very All right. interesting. All right, thank you so much. We turn to exactly those who are representing the workers. That is Samu. They're standing by uh, here. Um, I'm now joined uh, by uh, Mpot Ladinyane from uh, uh, Samu. You heard what the FF Plus is saying. They uh, are not that confident uh, uh, in uh, Dr. Uh, Nasipi Moe. It's, it's, it's very interesting. They're the ones who vouched for her. They're the ones who lobbied for her to get uh, the deputy mayor position. But now that she's outside of the Tswane multi-party coalition, now her abilities, her skills uh, must be doubted. And suddenly she is not fit to represent the workers. As a Samu, how do you respond to this? You, you, you listen to the interview. No, no. Uh, as Samu, we, we welcome the, the election of uh, Councillor Dr. Nasipi Moya as the executive mayor of the city of Tswane. We, we, we have known uh, Dr. Moya for, for, for some years now. Remember that before she became a councillor, Dr. Moya was a, was, in the, was a group head in the office of the chief whip. From there she became uh, the chief of staff in the office of the executive mayor and subsequently became a councillor. So, so, so we have known her, we have worked with her in the past. Uh, we have engaged, we have, have had many engagements and, and we believe that we'll still continue to have engagement with her in terms of all those particular challenges that are facing uh, the employees of the city of Tswane. Just another question. We've heard uh, now repeatedly again that the city of Tswane is bankrupt. There is no money. As workers, you are still waiting for your increases. Are you still hoping that you would be paid even though there's no money? No, no, we can't, we, we can't say uh, that, uh, that the city of Tswane is bankrupt. We know that uh, our employees on a daily basis, they continue to collect uh, millions in the form of revenue. What needs to happen now in the city of Tswane is that uh, the new administration must then be able to prioritize uh, what should then be done. You will know for a fact that we, we have been spending a lot of money on, 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 on outsource, uh, outsource services. Uh, we, we know that the city has been spending also a lot of money on services that could have been performed by municipal workers. Whether you go to, uh, to, to legal services, where you go to parks, uh, you go to waste collection and all those things. Our, our submission to, to the new uh, executive mayor will then be to say that there are services that can be performed by municipal workers, so the city should not even waste money on, on duplicating such and also paying for services that can be performed by, by, by municipal workers. We, we don't need, we don't need uh, you know, private companies to come and cut grass. Our employees are there, they have resources, they must then be given an opportunity to do their work. But they are men. We have uh, trucks at waste, we must then allow our employees to go and collect waste and so that we don't duplicate services. So basically, it's, uh, it's, it's not really that big of a crisis. It's just about strategizing the finances, coming up with new models that would work for everybody. Yes, we, in, in the past, we have made a lot of submissions to, to the outgoing executive mayor in terms of what should then be done. Uh, but also to indicate that the, the issue of the, the non-payment uh, you know, non of salary increases will then be in court uh, in, in, in November. So, so, and we know for a fact that court will then rule in favor of the employees and then the city will now be forced to ensure that indeed they pay uh, for, uh, for those uh, salary increases which were not paid in 2021 and also in 2023. But further to that, our expectation, ex expectation is that you will know that the, the, the outgone uh, executive mayor had dismissed more than 100 employees, uh, 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 no, more than uh, 100 employees. Some of them are back at work. There are 40 that are still outside. So we believe that our first engagement with the new executive mayor will then be to say that all those who are still outside must then be brought, so, brought back to, to work so that we can then be able to engage uh, further on, on all those particular matters.
All right, thank you so much there. We also have the DA just uh, to hear their side. Um, uh, of course, uh, one would say you guys are the biggest losers in all of this. Uh, you uh, feel that Celia Brunk's uh, name again as your mayoral candidate. He did not make the numbers. He didn't get the numbers. Uh, um, of course, uh, I'm speaking to Gwen Amuloto. He is the uh, DA Tswane spokesperson. So some would say you're the biggest losers here. I wouldn't say we're the biggest losers. I think, unfortunately, uh, it's the residents of Tswane that are the biggest losers inside the situation. Uh, politics was allowed to prevail um, over service delivery. Uh, this has been a government under Celia Brink that's been delivering for the past 18 months. We've seen the turnaround of the city's finances. Uh, we've seen a move towards energy independence. Uh, the people of Haman Skral will be getting clean drinking water in their taps um, inside uh, the coming weeks. Uh, and so, so I wouldn't say the DA are the biggest losers. I think that unfortunately because of the actions of Action SA, the EFF um, and the ANC, the residents of Tswane will be the biggest losers inside the situation. What do you guys make of uh, the appointment or uh, election of the new Tswane Mayor, Dr. Nasipi Moya, as uh, the uh, DA? What do you make of this? Look, I think there's two things. One, uh, we're not going to stand here and badmouth Nasipi. Um, I think that uh, under the multi-party government, she, she did uh, a good job. Uh, however, it's, she's in an extremely awkward situation. This is a playbook that we've seen inside the past uh, where the ANC and the EFF have propped up a smaller party uh, that has then taken the fall for for the poor service delivery um, and the looting that's taken place. And, and uh, unfortunately, the executive mayor now finds herself in a situation where she's a minority party uh, with the EFF, with uh, Le Sufi's uh, ANC. Uh, and I think that uh, voters are going to, to punish Action SA uh, come 2026. Um, and, and I really do hope. We've said uh, we will continue uh, to support Nasipi if she continues to put residents first. We're not going to be an opposition that disrupts. We're not going to bring frivolous motions. Uh, the city of Tswane needs stability. But but yeah, we, 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 can't, we can't take away from the fact that what happened here today is uh, a step back. Uh, and I think, as I said, Action SA is going to get punished in 2026. What now happens to the Tswane multi-party coalition? Does it uh, continue to exist as perhaps an opposition structure or has it collapsed? There will be engagements. I think it's, it's going to move very much to an issue-by-issue um, uh, situation. Uh, but I think that that's something that the national leaders will obviously engage with. Uh, the DA will announce um, a, a shadow uh, mako inside the, the coming days uh, that will then be holding uh, to account uh, the, the various uh, departments, be the spokespeople on those issues. Um, but, but as I said, I think that for us, uh, it's, 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 it's been a tough, <laughs> a tough day. Um, I think that it's a travesty what's happened here, uh, but uh, we are going to continue to fight from, from the opposition benches uh, to ensure that the, the work that we've achieved over the past 18 months isn't, um, isn't undermined by, by this new uh, coalition government. We're expecting the announcement of the MMCs and the deputy mayor. There are names that are flying around. We um, uh, think, uh, you know, when we hear some of uh, these names, there's a possibility that the deputy mayor might go to the ANC chairperson in Swane, Eugene Mudise. It's not final. These are some of the talks that we are hearing on the ground. Of course, uh, in the next couple of days, we'll have more clarity as negotiations continue. But as the DA, with uh, perhaps uh, uh, Eugene Mudise, getting the deputy mayoral position, should it happen, how would you respond to that? Look, it's all going to come down to the, the things that this government does going forward. Um, we will support the government that sticks to the mayoral charters that, that we've put forward. If, if it's a government that continues to push for clean uh, drinking water in Amman Skral, that continues to, uh, on, our, on our path of turning around the city's finances, we're, we're not, we're not going to make this political. Uh, we, we were elected to represent uh, the residents, and as long as this is a government that puts um, the interests of residents first, uh, we, we will support it. Um, however, we will be, as an opposition party, uh, keeping a keen, keen, keen eye on what goes on um, inside uh, the executive um, and inside the various departments.
Thank you so much there. Kwena Muloto is uh, the uh, DA spokesperson here in the capital uh, city. Uh, of course, uh, all the political parties that we are speaking to, they're all saying one thing, despite uh, the fact that they might be in opposition roles, whether it is uh, the former Tswane multi-party coalition partners or whether it is uh, the uh, new uh, power-sharing partners that have uh, obviously made their presence known starting this morning, who will be elected uh, in terms of the Tswane political formation uh, in the city, in the municipality. They'll be led uh, by Dr. Nasipi Moya as, uh, of course, uh, uh, the mayor in the capital city. Politically so, the ANC uh, will be leading all negotiations. So all of them saying the interests of the people must come first despite uh, what may have happened or what will happen. And uh, you can hear um, they saying that they're not enemies, they're not fighting. As long as the vision remains clear, it is just politics. And we know politics changes by the second. Today they might be fighting, tomorrow they might be friends. Today you have uh, an action as a mayor and in a few uh, weeks, few months there is a new mayor. So we will continue to have the deep conversation. Is this in the interest of the people? Do they have the plan? Do they have the strategy? When the city of Tswane does not have money, how are they going to turn around the finances of the city to make sure that the people on the ground get get the best services that they deserve and what is the political profile like going to uh, be going in to uh, the 2026 local elections and we have to ask the question why did the ANC not take the mayoral position is it because they understand that that's a hot seat it's a hot seat that is filled with too much responsibility going in to this important elections in 2026 they would rather let another political party hold the fort a rather po another political party be the face of the municipality and that perhaps uh, means that if anything goes wrong then they can also say but we were not the uh, holding the mayoral position action sa was holding it so those dynamics uh, is what we will be monitoring very closely and see who will be the mmc's we understand that the bulk of the mmc's will come from the anc structures um, so we, we will wait to see how how many will the uh, EFF get? How many will, um, of course, uh, Action SA get as they have uh, the uh, top uh, position, that is the mayoral position? The speaker position is also another discussion. Then we have to monitor what will happen to the Tswane um, managers, the executives, the city manager. What will happen to those people? Are their jobs safe or will they too, uh, perhaps in the next couple of days or weeks, uh, be uh, voted out or perhaps let go to bring in members from the so-called new dawn. So there's a lot of developments in the capital city, but ultimately we ask, is this going to benefit the people on the ground? Because if it does not benefit the people, then this was all just uh, a show with no, no um, uh, direction. Right, that is SABC News uh, report uh, there. Thank you so much for that comprehensive update, uh, Patricia Vasahi. And of course, you heard uh, various reaction there from the political parties, Freedom Front Plus, as well as uh, the DA also uh, giving uh, their sense of uh, what they feel in terms of uh, this result.